Hey guys, I am IselTPW and today we're doing another tutorial for, you guessed it, Minecraft. But today is one with a little bit of difference because today we're using the Twitch.tv launcher to be able to play Minecraft. And you may be wondering why and how do you play Minecraft using the Twitch TV launcher? Well, that's why you came here, isn't it? We're going to show you how and it's very simple and it opens up a whole new world of Minecraft to you especially for modded Minecraft, which is why we're here, because IselTPW is all about modded Minecraft. But before we get into that, guys, it would be awesome if you left a like on this video. Make sure to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite form of Minecraft. Are you into modded Minecraft and what are your favorite mods? What is your favorite mod in Minecraft? Guys, thank you so much. Let's get straight into the tutorial now. First off, in your internet browser, I prefer Google. We need to search for the Twitch Curse Launcher. And this is going to bring us to the Twitch app, which is the twitch.tv downloads. The link for this will be in the description of this video. We're going to click on this. And the very place that this brings us to in the downloads page is for Windows. You can also use this for Mac, but this is a Windows tutorial. So download for Windows. And then we should get a download in here. So once this downloads, Click on that and you can open up and install this from your downloads page. So I've clicked open here and it's asking me to install it. So I'm going to press the install button here. And it's almost a duplicate of what we have here. Once you've downloaded the twitch.tv app, you need to then log in and create a Twitch account for yourself. This I would recommend anyway because I stream on Twitch, it's IselTPW as well on Twitch, so why wouldn't you want to do this? But anyway, the next thing that you need to do then is click on mods up here. And once you click on mods, you're going to see that I have Minecraft here as well as lots of other games, but these are greyed out. This means that these are not installed on my PC. Whereas Minecraft is already downloaded and installed on my PC. And this is the Minecraft from the Minecraft.net website. So make sure that you have got Minecraft downloaded onto your PC already through Minecraft.net. It needs to be a legitimate copy as well of Minecraft. Once you click in here, it's then going to bring you to your profiles. And you can see no profiles currently installed. So I would need to install a profile here. And what you're looking for here is packs that have been created by other people that know that these packs work and are tried and tested together or you can create your own pack but I'm gonna stick here with just one of these custom packs which are already built and are already have been tried and tested and are stable one of my favorites was FTB infinity evolved which is for 1.7.10 but there's many different ones in here with very various, various different versions and you can feature you can search by feature or version popularity in here as well and it's going to give you the most popular ones so ftb presents stone block 2 which is on game version 1.12.2 all you have to do to install this is click install and you can see that it is installing and unzipping the files and there we go so i'm just going to wait for this to finish here and we'll be right back guys Okay, we're nearly done here, guys. We're at 220 of 225 mods. Yes, there's over 200 mods in this mod pack. And here we go. This has now been installed. So if we go back to my mod packs here, you can see that Stoneblock 2 has been installed. Before we click on this here, and before we play this, we need to go up here to these three little lines up here, which says View Menu. So we're going to click on the View Menu, and we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Settings. And then in here, we've got a load of different settings for Twitch, but we're looking for the Minecraft settings. So we're gonna click on the Minecraft settings. You can see your Minecraft pad here. Leave this as is. This is for your Twitch launcher. Preferred release type, and it says release alpha or beta. I would recommend this to be left on release. Use desktop resolution. I would also recommend to have this turned on, which is your desktop resolution. If not, you can manually enter it here if you want to have it downscaled. When this game starts, close launcher. When game starts, keep launcher open. I would keep the launcher close. I would close the launcher. And I would also, launcher method, use the native launcher. Make sure that your Java version has been updated. On this bar here, you can allocate more memory. 
I've allocated eight gigabytes of my memory towards Minecraft and to make sure that to be able to handle all of these mods, what I would recommend is half of your memory. So if you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, then I would allocate eight. If you have got 32, you're still leaving okay with leaving eight. You don't really need to go above eight gigabytes. But if you have got eight gigabytes, I would recommend allocating four. So roughly half up until you get to eight gigabytes, and that's more than enough. Anything more than eight gigabytes, and you're just wasting your RAM, really. I have 32 gigabytes on my PC, which is overkill, really, and not really required. That's why I'm leaving this as eight as opposed to giving 16 gigabytes of RAM. So just make sure that that is done. Once you've done that, go back into your mods here back into Minecraft and I'm going to click play here for stone block 2 and this is downloading a new launcher for us we have already got Minecraft installed but this is downloading a launcher for Minecraft for the twitch slash curse launcher on another part of your PC different from where your normal Minecraft folder is so I'm just going to let this download and install here guys and when it's done I'll be right back when that's downloaded and installed, it's going to bring you to your Minecraft launcher. It will ask you to log into your launcher again. Click on the FTB present stone pack stone block 2 so that you know you're in the right version. And as you can see, this is just downloaded and installed now. It's now going to load on all of the mods, which is 259. This can take a little bit of time. Okay, we're at the final set. Ah, oh, there we go. It's just downloaded. That For me and my PC, that took me all of about three minutes to do. And you can see here that we are in Feed the Beast presents Stone Block 2. Really nice background here. You can play multiplayer or you can play single player. Here's a list of the mods in this game. And there is a ton of mods. Over 200 mods in total. Let me turn on music here. And I'm going to go into a, I'm going to create a new world and I'm going to actually create it in creative so we can go I'm going to put in stone block two and create it's really dark here I don't know why I spawned inside in the cave but I did maybe that's just a mod pack that it is <laughs> uh, yeah it's quite dark in here okay I have spawned inside of a cave. I don't know why I spawned inside of a cave. Maybe that's just this pack. I'm not too sure. That is how you download Minecraft for the Twitch launcher on twitch.tv. And how you get to play with loads and loads of different mods on Minecraft. Different mods that you might be used to. There's some fantastic engineering mods. Uh, there is loads of aesthetic mods. You know, for how you look. The different armors, different weapons. There's so much... To do with modded Minecraft and this is a great way of doing it and getting into mod packs that are very stable but guys that is it from me I am IcelTPW thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope you found it really helpful if you're having problems with installing Minecraft on the Twitch launcher there's a couple of things that you can do one update your Java two make sure you've allocated enough RAM and that you have enough RAM to allocate over if you don't have a lot of RAM in your computer, I would say that the minimum that you could really use would be two gigabytes of RAM. You maybe have to get away with one gigabyte of RAM, but I would recommend a minimum of two gigabytes of RAM, especially for the amount of mods that are uh, on this game. And you can also leave a comment below this video and I may be able to help you and walk you through how to fix it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I am IcelTPW. I really hope you find this useful. Goodbye.